Hey guys, Joelster here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So this time I'm finally getting close to my review video on this beautiful TV. So this is the Samsung Q60R. This is the 2019 4K HDR Samsung Quantum Dot TV from this year, 2019. And this is like the budget friendly Quantum Dot from this year. I'm not saying that this is like the most budget TV there is but the, this is the newest budget-friendly model Samsung has. And if you have uh, seen my previous videos, you notice that I, I connected with my Xbox One X. I did a side-by-side -side comparison with the Q7 FN from last year. I have shown my some of my movie settings. I have shown some of my gaming settings with HDR games. And so if you're interested in finding more information about this TV, I encourage you to visit those previous videos. And if you're interested in buying a TV or maybe uh, uh, you're looking forward for a TV that can work with your PC, well, this video might be for you. I'm going to be connecting this TV with my PC. I'm gonna show you how it works, how to use the 120 Hertz of refresh rate, and also 1440p resolution. All right, guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Jolster, and let's do this. All right, guys, so let's start right here. Right now, I connected also my my Hue lights. They're synced to my PC, my display, and I think they look beautiful. So first, I'm going to change the uh, display settings. We're gonna go right click, and over here, the display settings, I'm gonna change this to 300 so you guys can see a little bit better. Also, once you open this window, you notice that there's the HDR option right over here. You can turn it on or off, but I'll be honest with you guys, HDR on PC, to me, honestly, it still looks terrible. There is like no difference when you turn on HDR and there aren't any, hardly any games that support it anyway. So I think HDR works better on, um, on console, but uh, that is just my opinion. All right, so let's get into the NVIDIA control panel because this is where you are going to be able to select the resolution. There you go. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more, guys. So there you go. I think you guys can see that, right? Okay, so the resolution right now is a native, 4K native, and the refresh rate is at 60 hertz. That's how it is, 4K 60. That's how it is on these TVs. But you also have the option to change this to 1440p. So if you scroll down, there's a 2560 by 1440 resolution and then with the refresh rate you're able to change this to 120 hertz of refresh rate if you want to and then you just hit apply and then it's going to do the resolution change if you want to keep this you can say yes and that's it and now your tv is going to be running at 1440p with 120 hertz let me zoom back out and adjust this there you go all right so we got that out of the way. Let me just show you on the TV settings real quick that we're actually running that resolution. I think it should be right here. Yeah, 2560 by 1440 and 120 Hertz of refresh rate. So next thing what happens is that when you connect your PC to your TV, it'll detect this as a PC. Of course, you can always edit this and change it. So what happens when you use PC is that it gets, you get the full chroma subsampling, but you also very, very limited in your picture settings. So as you notice right here, the picture settings already changed. Everything is different. So we're going to go into the settings and you're going to notice that you only have the options of standard or dynamic, which to be honest, I don't like either one of those. So I highly recommend you to change this to game. So if you use game or game mode while using PC, you still have all these other options that game mode gives you. Or, you know, you can change game console or Xbox One. It's up to you. But once you change to game mode, then you get access to a lot more picture settings, just like as if you were using as in a console. You know, so this you get access to all these settings, plus you get access to... Uh, more picture uh, options as well if you don't want to use game mode but I highly recommend game mode because it has the lowest input lag 
even when you change the resolution to 1440p, your input lag is going to drop around eight to nine milliseconds. So that's perfect. All right, so now let's jump into some gaming, guys. Let's do this. All right, guys, so let's jump into the world of PUBG. And let me tell you guys, right now it feels very good. I'm running at 1440p with uh, you know, the frame rate is about 60 frames per second. But uh, the upscaling on this TV, it just looks beautiful. I really love how Samsung upscales everything. And this TV does a great job upscaling. I don't even notice the difference between 1440p and 4K. So uh, if you're looking for, for a TV that you can utilize as a PC monitor and also, you know, something that performs great. If you have a beefy PC, you know, that can go up to 120 hertz of refresh rate. This is, honestly, I've been saying this for a long time. This Samsung TVs are probably like the best performance and best TVs for gaming. And like I'm proving right now, even when you're gaming on PC, it looks beautiful. It performs great. I wish I have a much stronger GPU and a PC, but I don't. But if you do, I'm pretty sure it's going to work great as well. So I'm using game mode, of course, expert settings. And these are it. These are the values that I'm using. This game is doesn't support HDR, but it still looks beautiful. And these are the values that I'm using to play this game. Contrast enhancer is on high. I usually, oh yes, I use this one on high because do colors do change when you're using uh, when you're not using HDR. So I recommend this to use it on high, but it's up to you. Remember, these are my personal settings, but you always use the one that works best for you. All right. Also, color space. I use native. Native looks much, much better when you are using SDR. And that's it, guys. So these are my settings that I'm using right now. And I'm pretty sure that the TV, it's, uh, it's going to look great when you're playing this. So let's get into the game. Let's see what happens. Notice how... Uh... Oh, oh. Oh, look at this. It's just like, this is not, oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Just wanted to show you how, oh, Jesus. Man, I haven't played this game in a long time, so let's see what happens. Just wanted to show you how this game looks and performs. Well, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't have a beefy PC. I have a GTX 1060, so it's, you know, I can barely hold on right now to my settings. You know, this TV also does a very good upscaling. So let's just try this real quick. Man, I haven't played this in such a long time, but it, it is a fun game. I also have it on the Xbox One X, of course. Is this one of those games that if you buy it on the Xbox digitally, then you can also uh, play it on your PC if you want to. Ooh. Yep, that uh, looks nice. All right, guys, so let's try this new game. Let's jump into the world of Skyrim. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, man. Skyrim is one of those games that you just, like, admire. You know, you just want to stop and admire all the details that there is in this game. Looks beautiful. By the way, I'm running this game in uh, 4K. This is a native 4K. And you can see right here on your on the TV. It'll tell you right now. 3840 by 2160. If you change the resolution up there, it will also change the native resolution. On PC, is different than on consoles. All right? So, my God. I haven't touched Skyrim in such a long time. I think I beat this game on the Xbox. I don't think I did on PC, but my goodness and this game is not even running with hdr and i think just colors and everything looks beautiful with this tv i'm telling you guys quantum dot does make a difference it enhances the contrast it enhances the colors i'm just amazed how beautiful this tv looks with uh even with pc 
All right guys, so this is the Samsung Q60R running on a PC. I'm telling you guys, if you're looking for a TV that is optimized or it's going to work best when you're gaming on your PC or maybe your console, any kind of console, I'm always saying like Samsung has the best options. You have the uh, optional free sync, battery will refresh rate, holy macro. You also have the Game Motion Plus if you want to. The option of running a 1440p with 120 hertz of refresh rate. So you do have plenty of options, options just in case if you're looking for a TV that performs well, that looks beautiful, has beautiful colors, quantum dot. Of course, you'll find these features also available on the RU8000, which is very similar to this TV, but it doesn't have the quantum dot technology but it also supports HDR. It also supports the all the other features like variable refresh rate, 1440p. And just make sure that you get the one that is 55 inches or bigger because smaller sizes, they, they're only limited to 60 hertz or 60 frames per second. So you won't be able to use those. But uh, if you wanna save some, a little bit some uh, some money, I suggest the 2018 models because they also carry the same features except for the game enhancers and also they're missing the uh, Apple AirPlay for right now. I know there's going to be an update for the Apple AirPlay in the future, but uh, if you want, the, if you need that feature right now, only the 2019 models has it. But like I said, if you're able to find one of those 2018, like the Q6 or the Q7, or even the Q8 event, which carry, which has a full array and local dimming display. I suggest to get that. If not, if you really want one of those newest models, I suggest to get either this one or the Q80R, which has full array technology and also has better, you know, viewing angles, better reflections. So, if you're in a budget, this TV is at one thousand one hundred dollars. I'm telling you guys. It looks beautiful. All right, so thank you so much, guys, for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out.